What is up, Wanderers? We are here for another bag review on Wander EDC. I think you're going to enjoy what we've got in store today because it is a very popular bag. If you have any social media, Alpaca is a brand that you have heard of because they do a lot of advertising in social media and they have a lot of cool sling bags. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to be looking at the Alpaca Bravo Max in uh, Heather Gray. And I think you're gonna enjoy the review right after this. All right, Wonders, if you're anything like me, you're always looking for the perfect sling bag for your everyday carry. And that's what uh, we may have found here with the Alpaca Bravo Max. Now, Alpaca has a lot of different slings, some of them really narrow and slim. The Bravo line is a little bit bigger, and um, I think you're gonna enjoy this walkthrough. So without further delay, let's start with the exterior of the bag. It is um, a really nice nylon with a, uh, gosh, neoprene rubberized base. Uh, and then on the back, we have another kind of very soft neoprene finish, a grab handle that also kind of looks like it would work as a luggage pass-through. Not sure about the use case on that for a sling bag like this. And then you have one of my favorite things about this bag, spoiler alert for when we do the two things that we love and the two things we don't love and should you buy this bag this a really incredible um back what would we call this padded strap shoulder strap uh i'm not sure what you would call it rest neck rest um Whatever you call it, it's incredible. It feels comfortable to wear. The bag actually sits for once exactly where it is supposed to on your back with no fuss and no messing around. That's my experience with this bag. I really enjoyed it. Now, you may have known me doing, you may have seen me doing this once or twice during this review. That's because one of the things with this exterior material a bit of a hair magnet. So carpet fibers, if you have any kind of animals in your house, etc. Mm, I hate to tell you that, but it's true. Hair sticks to the outside of this bag. So keep that in mind. What else do you have on this bag? You got some good zipper pulls. This top one is really easy. It's got a nice pull on top. These ones, for some reason, don't have pulls. They're kind of regular, um, normal run of the mill zippers, but um, they are branded with the alpaca logo, and this is a weatherized zipper uh, track here, so it is waterproof. You also have a USB plug if you want to um, plug your backup battery into this. Uh, mm. They also advertise that you can put a SIM card changer in there. I don't know about you guys, but uh, this is gimmicky to me. I think it takes away from the look and feel of the bag and... I don't charge my devices in this way, and honestly, how hard is it just to run a cord if I did charge my devices that way? So, eh. not in love with that, don't need it, don't want it, wish I could have done without it, but it's stitched onto the bag. Okay, so, you know how we do this. This is a one-take review, no edits, no nonsense, and the first thing we're going to do after the exterior walkthrough is we're going to walk through all the pockets on this bag. So, on the front, you have an admin panel. So you have one, two pockets in the front. They uh, have a little bit of stretch and give to them. Um, I've got, you know, AirPods in there, some extra accessories, SD cards. You have a Fidlock, uh, kind of a, a magnetized Fidlock uh, key fob here. You just tug on the cord and it comes right off. I've got a little personal protection right there. And then in the front panel, a little bit harder to see, got a little bit of drop space here if you wanted to use it for a pen or something, but you also have a very nice stretchy mesh pocket. I wish they had done more pockets like this. It's really good. And then I've got a little wallet. You got a pocket right here, a pocket right here. So four total slip pockets and the stretchy mesh pocket all in this front along with the Fidlock uh, uh, key fob. 
a really nice usable admin pocket. Honestly, it's really, it's good. And you saw it was in that blue material, um, kind of a blue uh, flight nylon. Uh, I like it. This is lockable up here too. I didn't show you that. Uh, these zippers overlap, so you can lock the bag if you wanted to. Again, uh, feels a little bit like they're just trying to make a list of features rather than have all these make sense or be really useful for you, but, but I digress. All right, so inside the sling itself here, we've got two more really usable pockets, a nice hefty drop space in here, and then a felt lined tablet sleeve in the back. So let me try and get that so you can see it really well. It's very nice, fits a uh, iPad Pro 12 inch with keyboard case. It fits, I've carried a uh, uh, 13 inch laptop in here, fits like a dream, no issues. So uh, once again, a uh, really usable space. Power cords, power brick, Lots of camera here, tons of space for you to put stuff in. Um, this is, uh, this pocket right here, I should say also, is where you would plug in a backup battery pack if you wanted to use that external charging dongle. Mm. Teach their own. That's not it. You think that would be it, but on this bag you've got more, which is very cool. You've got another compartment in the back. Now this is all felt lined back here. You got a lot going on back here, not just one forgettable pocket. Got a Kindle back here, another backup battery back here, and then you've got a secondary admin pocket back here. So you've got a full drop sleeve. You've got one, two, three nice pen slots back here. You can put a pocket knife back there. You can put a flashlight back there. But you can see there's one, two, three stretchy pockets back here and then a big fourth pocket in addition to the whole thing being really soft felt lined. So one, two, three main pockets, which is really nice for a sling like this. They call it the Max for a reason. It's bigger than their other slings. And uh, it's really nice. It's comfortable to carry. Uh, there's a lot to love about it, but you know how we do it here. I'm gonna give you two things that are really wonderful about this bag, two things that I don't like as much about this bag, and then I'm gonna answer the million dollar question. Should you buy it? So, two things I love about the bag. I mentioned one of them already, how this bag carries, okay? It sits exactly where it should, it is comfortable, um, it, yeah, it just works. So, the way this bag sits on my back is really nice. The comfort of the strap is really nice. And the materials themselves feel premium. So that's the first thing that I really enjoy about this bag. The second thing that I really enjoy about this bag, especially compared to some of the other slings that are out there. Chrome, I'm looking at you with your cadet bag. There's enough organization. It, it's great. You have in this back pocket, one, two, three, four bits of organization. In this middle pocket, you have two big drop pockets and the tablet slash laptop, laptop pocket. And then you have another storage bit up here with five pockets and a drop pocket. It's an insane amount of organization and it's all usable. And the bag is kind of three dimensional and has its own dimension. It doesn't rely on the items in it to keep that shape. So the whole thing feels like a, like a memory foam mattress almost. It's really nice. So love the organization, love the comfort of the bag when you're wearing it and the space seems just right. I probably could have laid that out better, but the space seems really just perfect for the amount of things that you are actually carrying for your actual everyday carry. This is not a travel slang. Um, but it is a really nice commuting sling. So those are the two things that I absolutely love. Now, what are the things that I don't love so much about this bag? We're pulling them back from the review and the walkthrough. The first one, the exterior material. Oh my gosh. Um, it's quality. This herringbone fabric is quality, but it does attract hair. 
that's a shame. I don't want to spend my day, even if it's subconsciously, picking hairs off my bag. Um, so I would have liked this more in a Cordura, in a uh, Ripstop, um, in honestly a lot of different fabrics. So don't love the fabric. Do love the material on the bottom. That's great. Do love the material on the back. Don't at all love this gray herringbone. So sorry about that alpaca. Um, man, I don't know, maybe it's made from alpaca wool and they feel like a brand loyalty situation. I don't know. The second thing I don't love, this ugly piece of plastic. It's, it's just, it ruins the look of the bag. Uh, I know for some people this might be something you're really looking for, but I feel like this is like five years ago technology. I don't think it's necessary anymore. I'd rather see something forward looking like um, wireless charging built into the bag, something like that. Um, this just seems dated and it's, yeah, I don't know. It's, and it's, it's not even USB-C. So, eh, yeah, I don't know what to do with that. So those are the two things I don't love about the bag. Uh, I think the price seems fair. You can get this bag usually with a deal on social media around a hundred bucks, um, which is right about what you'd pay for an airbag um, or some of the other main competitors to this bag. Uh, so honestly, it's a great bag. Should you buy it? Yeah, yeah, I think you should. Um, if you're looking for a sling that you won't regret for a second, if you're looking for a sling that uh, people will, and you will think looks really nice on a daily basis in a variety of settings, even professional, um, you'll like this. I didn't even mention, I haven't had a bag with a blue interior before, and I dig it. It's really nice, it's really nice. Good job, Alpaca. Um, so, should you buy it? Yeah, I think you like it a lot. Uh, I think play around with the other slings on their site, dial in on the one that looks right to you, and I think you'd enjoy an alpaca sling. I mean, try one. Worst case scenario, just put it up for sale or return it if you don't like it, but I think you'll like it. I'm glad that I have one of their bags, and I'm thinking about buying a second one. Um, I saw a limited edition in a Coyote Brown that I've got my eyes on. Uh, but uh, I think you'll like this. So that's the review for today. This is the Alpaca Bravo Max Sling. If you enjoyed the review, please leave a like and also subscribe if you're new here. Uh, we're just getting ramped up and started, but we're gonna keep pumping out reviews of incredible bags and uh, make sure that you guys can uh, see a bag before you buy it and get a full walkthrough. Kind of the videos that I always wish that I had before I bought my bags. So. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.